Hi, I'm Aurora Buffington, registered dietitian and health and fitness specialist here at the Hollywood Recreation Center. You know, there's been a lot of buzz lately about the new food icon that was released by the USDA. It's Choose My Plate, and it's replacing the food pyramid, and it's designed to help people choose a healthy meal and set it up so that they're including all of the nutritious food groups that their body needs to be healthy. Today, I'm gonna to show you some choices that people tend to make when they're rushed and in a hurry without a lot of planning involved that aren't so healthy, and then I'm going to show you some more nutritious choices that are based on the Choose My Plate icon. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, breakfast is the first meal that we're going to start with, and it certainly is the most important meal of the day. But you can make a great, quick breakfast by selecting a whole wheat English muffin, topping it off with some peanut butter, a little bit of honey for flavor, a non-fat glass of milk, and to finish it off, try some fruit, like perhaps a banana. If you happen to be like some of my friends that don't have lots of time in the morning, you might be very tempted to stop at the convenience store. Unfortunately, our convenience stores aren't exactly full of the healthiest choices, and it's very easy to choose foods that will just satisfy your taste buds and your hunger, but won't do much for your nutrition. So, my friends chose recently some chocolate milk and some mini donuts. Unfortunately, this is loaded with sugar and fat, and it's gonna provide lots of calories, 700 to be exact. Well, if you're like many people, um, you didn't have time to pack your lunch on your way to work. And so when it comes time to lunchtime, you want something that's fast and convenient and easy to get to for that short lunch break that you get. Many of us choose fast food restaurants. They're in the neighborhood and they're cheap. So let's go ahead and look at a typical unhealthy choice or a choice that's very high in calories. And that would be um, a meal that consists of one of the larger double burgers with cheese and an extra large order of french fries and then a 32 ounce soda. As you can see, this meal comes in at over 1600 calories, which is more than the total calories that I need for one whole day. For our example here on our healthy meal, we have a cheeseburger that's the smallest size possible Along with that, we've chosen a small order of french fries, and we've added a small side salad, and preferably you wanna choose a non-fat or low-fat salad dressing that will um, not add a lot of extra fat and calories to your meal. And we're gonna finish off the meal with an unsweetened beverage of your choice, like an iced tea or ice water. This meal comes in at just over 600 calories. And of course, you could cut those calories by just eliminating the french fries. This would be a much better choice for you. Sometimes we get a little bit hungry between lunch and dinner, and a mid-afternoon snack can help ease that hunger and help you have more control when dinner time rolls around. A typical fast, quick grab is a chocolate bar. People think it's gonna give them a quick burst of energy, and while it does deliver lots of sugar and fat all at once, it's gonna to lead to a crash in just an hour or two. A better choice and a more nutrient-rich choice would involve a pre-planned snack that includes a little bit of protein with some complex carbohydrates in the form of a fruit or a vegetable. I chose a vegetable today to help us meet our vegetable recommendations for the day. And what we have for a nice healthy snack that comes in at less than 200 calories is a bag of baby carrots, a hard-boiled egg, which provides an excellent source of protein. And along with that, I've added some hummus that we can dip our carrots in and use as a spread. This is a very nice, satisfying snack, and it's gonna keep you going until dinner time. All right, so if you've had a healthy snack, then chances are you're gonna make it to dinner time, and you'll be ready to cook or do whatever you need to do to get that healthy meal to your family. So we're gonna compare a couple of meals that can be prepared at home. On the meal here that we have, for an example, we have some uh, fish sticks that are breaded, and we've used canned green beans, and we've also included a uh, boxed macaroni and cheese product, along with ice cream for dessert. A lot of times we think that in order to prepare foods from scratch, you need to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but the meal that I have in front of you should only take top 15 minutes to prepare. This one is using a tilapia filet, which can be cooked in the oven 
uh, for less than 10 minutes because it's thin. Um, we also stir fried some broccoli, which was already cut up and ready to go. And we've made some couscous, which is a very fast cooking grain and preferably using whole grain couscous. That way you're going to help get half of your grains made whole. We we're also finishing it off with a wonderful dessert of some fresh strawberries, which happen to be in season right now. And we're including a glass of nonfat milk just to finish off the meal. On this side, all the food for the day came out to a grand total of over 3,400 calories. That's almost twice as much what need, people need. And on this side, we stayed at about 1,660 calories, which is just about the right amount of food for a person like me for a whole day. And you're gonna wanna balance those calories with physical activity, and what better place to get your physical activity than at your local Clark County Parks and Recreation facility, where they provide classes, they've got a gym, and it's a great place to meet friends and get a good workout. I hope to see you there.